Okay, so we're gonna try uh, one more experiment with this liquefaction kit, and I have a fossil here that's pretty heavy. It's um, made of stone, of course, and uh, what I'm gonna do is create an earthquake and see if this fossil will actually sink into the liquefied sand, uh, just we, like we saw how these ping pong balls rose up through the liquefied sand. See, there it goes. Okay, so what this has shown then is that if I can get up and take a look down here. So what then you can see is that this heavy object has sunk down into the sand because the sand is now have the sheer strength of water and um, just like uh, it did when we made it um, liquefy for the rising of the ping pong balls. So um, this is a really good analogy for buildings that have a foundation in sand, comes up and um, the building will turn over and sink into the uh, subsurface because part of it is only supported by water. So let me ask you, since we have this situation, would we have a worry about liquefaction in a environment of clay rather than sand? It wouldn't be, I guess you wouldn't worry about it as much because it'd be less water. Be less water and also you have less permeability. Right. So this is based on permeability of water being able to travel up and it's also based on having void spaces to hold water. Right. So both of what you just said is right, that you have less space to hold water because it's a clay material right. and it's going to have less permeability to create the liquefaction environment.